It's been a pretty wild last couple of years for Roblox with a lot of information being exposed about some very bad people in the community that have done some awful things, as well as even Roblox themselves putting on the clown suit and doing some absolute dumb awful ideas such as suing a YouTuber for $1.6 million, which ended up being a giant nothing burger and a huge mistake on their part. They just ended up looking really silly and stupid in that case. And really, Roblox has been kind of like Gotham City recently, with the amount of terrible shit going on and actual crime. I'm not exaggerating, real crime. And that's what I want to talk about today. Ruben Sim, the YouTuber that was being sued for $1.6 million, but walked away with a huge dub, has still been fighting the good fight against some predators in the Roblox developer community, and one of them is now looking at potentially two life sentences. So huge hats off to Ruben for helping make this happen. The FBI did step in and make the arrest after conducting their own thorough investigation on that same individual, and hopefully all of that goes well in court and is sentenced properly because this shit is downright deplorable. And Ruben Sim also highlights all of the floundering that Roblox did when handling this. They didn't take any of this seriously. This was an open pedophile who was preying on minors in the community, saying terrible, awful shit, doing terrible things, and Roblox themselves did nothing to stop it. And it eventually culminated in this individual getting a 15-year-old girl into a stranger's Uber, going 700 miles across the country to meet him at his apartment and authorities busting in shortly after since they were closely monitoring this guy. Overall, absolute dog shit handling of this case by Roblox. They did nothing to protect the children that use their service, and it is mostly children. They did nothing when confronted with this information about a pedophile who had an extremely popular game on their platform and was using that level of fame to actively prey on minors. They did nothing really to stop it. Ruben took it into his own hands and worked with other members of the community in order to try and get this individual held accountable and taken off of the platform. So great shit all around from Ruben. Definitely go show him some love. His channel link is in the description of this video. And now I'm just going to show you some of the video he made talking about all of this and going over it from top to bottom. A Roblox dev got arrested by the FBI. What, today? Is in Ruben Sim's new video. But did it happen today or is he covering the... Because I know one dev got arrested quite some time ago. So is this a new one? The arrest happened a few days ago. Oh, shit. Because there was a former dev that did get arrested. But that wasn't, like, super recent. When I first learned about Arnold, I only knew him by his online aliases. He named himself Shabletsky after one of Roblox's founders, John Shabletsky. And like convincing people that he was his brother seems legit, right? Let me see. Can you prove you're actually Shed Shedletsky's brother? No, it would require effort. Couldn't care less about doing effort. Just got done doing the most complicated physics you'll ever see in Roblox. So any more effort can suck my dick. What? <clears throat> what? what? Is this the physics? <laughs> well, he sent a screenshot of, what, a chaos emerald or something? Like, what? what is this supposed to fucking be? This weird little sapphire. That does look like the most complicated physics I have ever seen in my life, though. It's sonic spin dashing. Mmm. Over the span of five years, Arnold went from being one of Roblox's highest paid developers to being Ooh. indicted on two felonies, facing two life sentences and half a million dollars in fines. Holy shit. From what I understand, all of this started in 2017. Arnold was in the early stages of creating a Sonic the Hedgehog spin-off game called Sonic Simulator. Oh my god, it actually was Sonic Spin Dashing, wasn't it? I, this is a callback to something a while ago. Is this that YouTube channel that was like an open pedophile? spin-off game called Sonic Simulator. Here's a video from his YouTube channel showing- That guy also made Twitter Sonic games, games though, which is fucking wild. The guy that was, Arnold's like, openly admitted to being a pedophile. 90 million visits, it was well monetized, fully voiced, and it had a decently sized community. And that's where the problems began. It was pretty common knowledge that these jokes were being made in my community. Maybe not to the extent it actually occurred, Jesus Christ. but definitely known. So far as to the point where I was known as the old man with kids in his basement. We'll come back to this video later. Are you Please. sure that's someone different? Because I feel like we heard that. Are these two different people? 
No, no, this is a brand new video. I definitely haven't seen this. Here, I'll just pull up what I'm talking about, so that way we can immediately compare. I don't know why I'm asking the fucking chat who half the time suffers from short-term memory loss anyway. I think it was called the Andrew Files that did the deep dive. Is this the one I'm thinking? No, actually, it was, um... This was something different. It was, um... Oh, God. There's There's been so many goddamn Roblox Predators. What? My God. People make games. Thank you. That was the one. I couldn't remember the full video on that. Yeah, people make games. The Roblox pressured us to delete our video. Content one? They covered someone in here that I think is the same guy that we're talking about right now who's facing the two life sentences. Yeah, responding to the document allegations. Okay, so then this is someone we learned about. I, I really thought it was familiar. Yeah, because of the Jeter Man YouTube channel. I apologizing for the things I've said. Yeah. I know I shouldn't have said those things regardless of the context. Moving forward, I will not have this behavior. Okay. So this guy finally got justice delivered then from the sound of things here. You're the reason what I'm going to end fuck? up behind bars. Wow, that one aged well. These are just a few of the messages. Aren't oh, he wasn't wrong. Girl, and she wasn't the only one. My sense of humor has always been very harsh. Dark humor, if you will. Oh, and while it doesn't God. excuse my behavior, it does reveal that I had no intention on moving on any of the things I said. I can just hear the fedora in his voice. Right now he's got a pinky up as he's saying these things. Ugh. Christ. By the way, Arnold uses a voice changer to make his voice sound deeper. Here's what he actually sounds <laughs> what? like. What? Moving forward, I will not have this behavior. This shouldn't have been a joke in the first place. He was very careful with what he said because he knows not to step over the fine line of joking around. Yeah, that's the impression I got from seeing these messages. Yeah. That seems like a guy who's... He knows where to tap dance on the line between right and wrong when it comes to jokes. Interesting. Obviously, the DMs that were exchanged between Jaden and the victims were not okay. Also, there's nothing quite like calling minors to prove you're not a pedophile. Uh, quite the big brain strategy. No, look, I'm not a pedophile. Here's a 17-year-old on my payroll who can say such. Towards the end of the video, he shifts the blame onto the 12-year-old and calls her an attention seeker. First things first. Red, what I said to you earlier about my apology was completely sincere, and I hope... You can someday let go of this hatred. However, I will call you out on this because you cannot be claiming to be an angel. Uh, yes, victim blaming the child. What's really sad is looking at the like-dislike ratio here. He didn't, like, get slapped down with the dislikes. So he must have actually had support from the community, which is fucking crazy. Since the video is over half an hour long, I created my own video breaking it down in less than seven minutes. Surprisingly, Arnold's main account was deleted not long after my conversation with the staff member. Arnold, however, prepared for this. Also, I'm pretty sure this account is on the... So Roblox has like a public wall of shame that is actively updated anytime there's movement like that with bans. What is it called? I think it's Roblox... They have like an FBI's most wanted for Roblox, and I can't remember what they call it. Does anyone remember? Is it terminated players? Because I I remembered it being more than that, but they ha there's like a different one though, that's like much more focused on like the worst of the worst. Is it con oh it's controversial? Uh, here it is. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have like a mug shot and then why they're controversial. Surely he would be here, I would think. Or maybe this is like too extreme for even the controversial wanted board. On September 9th, 2021, his account was terminated for, for swearing in front of a Roblox intern using voice chat on one of his alternative accounts. And he's earned his place in the, the hall of evil of Roblox. So yeah, perhaps, like, actual pedophilia and shit is a little too extreme to be on this wiki. I think that makes sense. If DevRel really wanted to protect their users, they'd have deleted his game and curbed his Roblox income. Roblox's bottom line depends on parents trusting the company with their kids' safety. And that's not going to happen if this is the response to child predators. 
Very true, but I think one thing Ruben misunderstands is parents don't even care if the shit's safe for their kids. They just need something to distract them. So much parenting these days is just placing a fucking iPad in front of them and letting them go unmonitored on the internet, unsupervised, and then getting mad if something happens and blaming the, the companies for it. Like, it's that's just the most fucking common parenting technique at the po- at this point. I don't even think they care if Roblox is necessarily safe as long as it doesn't cost them money somehow or cause some kind of issue. Two weeks later, he tweeted, Thanks for driving more money to my game, man. Oh my Jeez, God. you guys are really fucking stupid by giving me all this publicity. Man's capitalizing off being outed as a pedophile, talking about raping kids. To the kids. I spoke with a detective who really seemed like he wanted to help, but since I didn't know anything about Arnold's real identity, there wasn't much they could do. The only people who could have known who he actually was, was Roblox. Since Arnold was approved for the developer exchange, they must have had all his personal info. Had someone at Roblox been the one to make that call, it's my belief that Arnold would have been arrested years ago. Less than four months later, Arnold posted a YouTube video showing that he's still the owner of the game. I also noticed the same Discord server he was using to procure underage girls was still linked on his games page. I messaged the staff member asking if they could remove it, and his response was, they can just add it back. <laughs> Things stay pretty quiet. <laughs> That's like, who works at Roblox? Actual children too? That's like some shit I'd say as a kid, like, what's the point in showering? I'm just gonna get dirty again. Like, it's not even the point. Like, taking action is still worth it, even if it could just be added again. I really didn't have time to continue with all this. I'd just gone through a lawsuit from Roblox, and I really wanted to get back to making videos. So I forgot about everything until May, when one of my viewers told me Arnold had disappeared. He wasn't talking in his Discord server or responding to messages. A few people thought he killed himself. As it turns out, Arnold had been arrested by the FBI. Some breaking news. God damn. Six o'clock. 22 year old Arnold Castillo of New Jersey is facing federal charges. The reason we're covering this in December, story... he took interest in another underage girl from his Discord server. Oh, this shit. Was okay. 15. Arnold was 28. So the FBI went on their own side Uber quest and got him. $1,000 to have her picked up and transported 700 miles across state lines to his home in New Jersey. When her mom what? noticed she was missing, she called the police. Two days passed before she was able to meet with the sergeant and a detective at police headquarters, where she told them about Arnold. She knew of him by his fake name, and the fact that a few months prior he had placed orders on Amazon to her house, including several thousand dollars worth of electronics that were cancelled after the delivery deadline was missed. The police got a hold of Arnold over the phone, and of course he claimed his name was Jacob Shedletsky. Can you just imagine a world where Roblox actually takes pedophiles seriously? And then he's never in a position where he pays an Uber driver to transport a child 700 miles away from her parents to be with him. That is entirely on Roblox's plate right there. That is entirely their fucking fault. This could have been, this could have been squashed two years, well, this was 2022. Yeah, two years prior. In the video, Castillo's voice can be heard narrating over images regarding allegations that he is a pedophile. Based on his vocalized rebuttals, the allegations sourced from unidentified fellow social media users who were reportedly juveniles, those users had apparently informed Castillo that they were teenagers, and he ensued by making sexual advances and other derogatory remarks towards them. This has to be one of the first times where a YouTuber apology video is actually cited in a, like a legitimate arrest. That's big. Dr. Rofatnik really fucked Arnold Castillo here by making that apology video with the deep voice modulator. When I learned about all this, I called my local police back and asked them to forward the info I gave them to the FBI. Arnold has since pled not guilty, and his trial is scheduled for November 7th. He'll take a plea deal. No doubt in my mind. He's not gonna try and fight it. With the overwhelming evidence and a physical sting operation that observed a minor going into his apartment after being reported as missing, and then the 700, or the thousand dollar bribe to the uber driver to bring them there and the getting all of his messages no shot he's gonna take a plea deal really fumbled that one there huh roblox this is still all supposed well he's not found guilty on it yet i suppose so yeah i suppose the right word is alleged but he has himself confirmed all of the things he said to minors even blame them for attention seeking by bringing it up and then the goddamn FBI investigated and caught physical evidence 
watched a minor go into his apartment after the whole missing persons report on a child, it's pretty solid evidence, I would say. I think we can at least surmise with a high level of confidence that not guilty is probably not the right word here. God damn. That's actually, that is actually crazy. Good shit, Ruben. Ruben is actually like the Batman of Roblox. Even though he wasn't the one that ended up leading to the arrest of the Predator, I still think his information is going to be integral to the case. They found the apology video on their own, but Ruben compiled like all other relevant information to forward to them. So now this guy's facing two life sentences, right? Is that what it was? Yeah, two life sentences. And this could have all been avoided, well, this guy was, he was a pedophile before Roblox, but the actual victim going there in person could have been avoided had Roblox just done the bare minimum of taking a pedophile seriously. At, at the very least, he has been caught, which is more than we can say for the other predators from Roblox that we learned about over the last year or so.